downhill from here. Now, if that ain't the truth. Hey, hi, hello. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I'm a mess up here. But yeah, I got a new, what do you call these? Sweatshirt or crew neck? Whatever, either way, I got a new one. It is from Boardwalk, as all of my fun ones are. I do have an affiliate code with them that I'll put on the screen because I can never remember it. So I forgot, you get a percentage off and I get a percent off or something, something. I have an affiliate code and I generally like, I buy, I buy these myself. Um, and it's hard not, it's hard to just buy one. But yes, it's all downhill from here. It is. And so today we're going to be talking, um, this is book community where I try to keep you abreast of the shenanigans and the goings on in the bookish community. Although I have taken a step back, so I'm not doing a great job of keeping you up to date, but it's too much. It's too much. There's too much. Okay. I, this can't handle all of it. But anyway, I have just been seeing so much. I was like, okay, I got to talk about some of this stuff. This video is not really going to be heavily edited because my wrists have been killing me. Like, um, I don't know if it's carpal tunnel or whatever, but like both, like it's so uncomfortable to use my trackpad on my laptop or even a mouse. So minimal editing. So sorry, not sorry. <sighs> let's start, let's start off with Florida. Let's, let's talk about Florida. Everyone in America knows that Florida, you know, when you say Florida, it's usually followed by something terrible. Or Florida man commits heinous crime. Florida man tries to eat an alligator. Something, something wacky. Uh, and some of it you're like, <laughs> and some of it is just downright despicable, disgusting, and um, this is. So Ron DeSantis, that scum bucket of a human, who apparently wants to run for president, sweet baby Jesus, help us all, is the governor of Florida. And he's a P.O.S. Not point of service, piece of shit. So I saw this Huffington Post article that says he wants to defund diversity programs in Florida. Ron DeScummy DeSantis plans to defund diversity programs in Florida universities. The Republican governor's announcement is part of his continued efforts to turn Florida's higher education spaces into incubators for far right ideas. Governor Ron DeSantis said Tuesday he plans to defund diversity, equity, and inclusion programs in every Florida university. Another movement is pushed up in higher education in the state. The governor and potential 2024 presidential hopeful laid out a list of higher education, quote unquote, reforms his administration aims to carry out, including banning DEI, which is diversity and inclusion, wait, diversity, equity, and inclusion programs that help universities create a more supportive and inclusive staff, uh, space for staff and students from marginalized backgrounds. The state legislator will need to approve the plan for they will go into effect. We are also going to eliminate all DEI and critical race theory bureaucracies in the state of Florida. No funding. And that will wither on the vine, DeSummy said. And I think that's very important because it really serves as an ideological filter, a political filter. Discummy continues with um, mandatory DEI trainings. Uh, he equates them as opposing an agenda that constitutes a drain on resources and claim that having universities include diversity statements is no different than making people take a political oath. This announcement is DeSantis' latest attempt at turning Florida higher education spaces into incubator for far right ideas. The governor has already unsuccessfully tried to ban workplace diversity initiatives. He also pushed right wing higher education officials to ban discussions of critical race theory and prides himself on the state's so called don't say gay law, which prohibits public school teachers from discussing sexual orientation or gender identity. Last week, the Florida Board of Education approved a training for public schools that focuses on preventing children from reading books about racial justice and books with LGBTQ themes. DeSantis also recently announced a statewide ban on a new advanced placement course on African American history, a move that led some high school students to accuse the government of censoring public education. So this is what, and I saw someone on TikTok who linked that they got like an outline of what the course like objectives, what it would cover, like text and everything. Um, but 
Ron DeSantis is like, no, we can't have this course. The woke mob wants to teach our children to hate being white. Basically is what he's saying. So this is saying uh, he's his decision to reject students access to an AP course on African American studies and as rage mount. Obviously, he said he supports banning the course being offered to some high school students because its lessons delve too far into political agendas, broaching topics such as queer studies and abolishing prisons. Black officials in the state from Democratic lawmakers to faith leaders, however, are seeking to overturn the DeSantis administration's determination that the class significantly lacks educational value. <sighs> I, I'm not even going to read more words from that fucking idiot cesspool box named DeSantis, but literally he doesn't want it taught because it will actually teach U.S. history because African-American history is American history. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's American history. And they don't want that told. They don't want the truth out there. Anytime they're saying woke CRT lives, rah, 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 it's literally, we don't want more children to know the actual history of our country and how it was founded and how it was built and how it continued to be and continues to be today. And some, some, Sometimes I'm like, wow, I just get, I'm like really shocked that there are people who voted for this man again and Greg Abbott in Texas. And then, and then I remember humans are terrible. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So this is just one in the many things that this sewage pit has instituted. So the college board caves on the AP African American history course. This is a, a part from the article it's in the New York Times that I'll have linked. After heavy criticism from Governor Ron DeSantis, the College Board released on Wednesday an official curriculum for its new advanced placement course in African American Studies, stripped of much of the subject matter that had angered the governor and other conservatives. The College Board purged the names of many black writers and scholars associated with critical race theory, the queer experience, and black feminism. It ushered out some politically fraught topics like the Black Lives Matter from the formal curriculum. And it added something new. Black conservatism is now offered as an idea for a research project. It is currently 7.34 a.m. in the morn before I'm working, so I look atrocious. But if you could see my fucking face reading black conservatism as, a, as an option, I... It's too early. I can't be getting riled up like this. I can't be getting riled up like this. Oh, my hatred grows every day. Um, here is the New York Times article. The College Board strips down its AP curriculum for African American studies. The official course looks different from a previous draft. No more critical race theory. And the study of contemporary topics like Black Lives Matter is optional. I was going to read more of that New York Times article, but like why fuck them and their lack of backbone and the way they've kind of been sliding into the right themselves. But anyway, I was going to share a couple more tweets um, and then talk a little bit more about it briefly. So from Congress, Krong <laughs> it's so early in the morning. Anyway, you see the tweet, Ron DeSantis banning AP African American studies because it lacks educational value is unmasked white supremacy. You cannot teach the truth about American history without African American history. Period. Thank you. Also, 60 schools nationwide have already piloted the AP African American Studies course. Ron DeSantis' excuses why Florida's children can't participate in this course are simply a distraction from the real reason. He doesn't want our children to learn the true history. Like I said, you can't learn true American history without talking about black folks. Sorry, Ronnie boy, you fucking piece of trash. I just, I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted, but are we surprised? Okay, so we're continuing with some reactions. One from good sister Nora Jemison. Oh, so black history that doesn't cover all of us removes understanding of how racism functions in concert with other oppressions that both sides are ongoing resistance to oppression and which positions collaborators with our oppressors as somehow relevant. I had nothing but contempt 
for the college board before this, profiteering and education shouldn't mix. But this craven whitewash of our history in order to appease the neoclans is intolerable. You've become the latest example of the very racism we face. College board. I mean, sure. It's relevant to study black conservatives. We have always had our Uncle Toms. <laughs> Say it. It's important to understand why they exist, how to spot them, and what function they serve. But they do not serve us. They belong in white supremacist history, not black history. <laughs> if she said what she said. Okay, and then lastly, this tweet. This is a good time to ask why the College Board, a private organization answerable only to its own board of trustees, all corporate consultants, has been allowed to operate for so long in a monopolistic quasi-government agency that runs education in the U.S. without oversight. You know, <laughs> it's on brand though. He also apparently has called, um, you know, there's been a lot of book bans challenges. So I don't know if they don't have the criteria yet or they're working on it. But there have been teachers, they've been basically telling teachers in Florida, just remove all of the books from your classroom so that you don't face a lawsuit in case one of those books is against the criteria that we deem acceptable for books inside of school. So literally teachers have cleared out bookshelves. They do not have enough librarians or people in the media center uh, em employees to go through all of these books and do all these things. They're just literally having to remove all the books so that they're possibly not sued for having something improper in their classroom. Let me go back to the Twitter. So this um, Twitter accounts, it says Florida Freedom to Read Project. And it said yesterday we logged almost 200 challenges, about 150 of those resulted in immediate removals. This is a picture of all the books removed from one high school library in one day, in one district, due to the objections of one man. And so I will post the photo here somewhere. Um, I'm not going to read them all out, but Cemetery Boys, I, I know why that's banned. Ace of Spades, I can't read all of the, the, uh, um, the side. Oh, wow, Cassandra Clare, City of Heavenly Fire, The Poet X, Speak, The Female of the Species, Leah on the Offbeat, we've got Long Way Down, I'll Give You the Sun, Eleanor and Park, interesting. History is all you left us. The black friend, or black friends? I can't tell if that is. A child call it. Well, okay, you know, uh, I'm not mad, I don't know. Um, Native son, mm-hmm. Slaughterhouse Five, Concrete Rose, The Handmaid's Tale, Cinderella is Dead. Just like, and this is just one high school, one day. I have a clip that I will put in here where I showed uh, there's a teacher or I think it's the teacher sharing. It said they removed every single book from my children's classrooms. I read books about the con consequences of this when I was in high school and said no. Not only that, they removed the media resource elective from their schedule and telling the kids in the library has to review every single book. Not only did they have all the teachers remove the books from their classrooms, they took any library book the kids were reading and didn't let them finish all in a week when they were having a book fair fundraiser. Did I say fundraiser? Fundraiser. Um, there are people generally who are like, oh, if that book bans, it just means it's gonna have bigger sales. No, that is not true and that's not, that's not good. This is out of hand and at this point, I truly don't know what we can do um, besides and that's why I think it's all downhill from here. And that's just Florida. And, you know, there have been other book bans and challenges and whatever in so many other states in this country. I truly don't know what to do. But let's move on, okay? So next thing is authors. Somehow in 2023, we're still on that bullshit. And I don't know why this has to be said every, every month, apparently. Okay, if you're an author or you're thinking of becoming an author, maybe first pause and be like, hey, can I stand strong and not go Google reviews or read reviews on Goodreads or watch them on YouTube? You should think about that. Um, if you are going to do that or if you're already an author and you do that, you better be prepared to see a wild 
variety of things from people raving and loving the book to people hating it and shitting on the book and saying it's the worst thing ever written. And that's valid. They can say that. Okay. You put the book out there. It is now public. It's now for public consumption and people are going to have varying opinions on your work. So if you're going to be silly enough to go read or watch those reviews, know that that is what you're going to expose yourself to. And now if you still think that's a good idea, realize it is not your right. You should not. Then contact the reviewer or quote tweet the reviewer or share the post on Instagram or um, find their address or their email or send your minions against like you should do none of those things. If you're going to read a review and you don't like it, you better just since apparently so many of y'all don't have um, I was about to say buddy readers. <laughs> y'all don't have beta readers or people to help you edit your books. If you're going to reviews for critique and feedback for your books, that's not where you're supposed to get that. But some people be saying that. Then you better just you better just take it and shut up. Because I'm I'm sick every goddamn week is some fucking dummy on the timeline. I read this review and I my heart broken. I took all this time. Shut up. I, we don't care, okay? I'm sure not all of you be putting your heart and soul into something because it's questionable, these things you be writing, but whatever. I understand that would be hard to read, so why did you read it in the first place? And I'm going to add to this that reviewers stop tagging authors in reviews, even good ones. Fuck it. Just stop. Don't tag them in a five star. Don't tag them. And definitely don't tag them in the negative ones because I used to just say don't tag them in negative ones. Just don't tag them in reviews. Writing the review should not be because you want attention from the author. It should be like you want to gush about this book so other people read it or you want to be like, hey, I think this book was bad for these reasons. And so you don't want people to read it. I don't think it should be for the if the author comes across it. OK. And they're like, wow, this is so beautiful. But I don't think we should be tagging authors in any kind of review anymore. No, let's just not do it. And authors, leave us the fuck alone. OK, leave us leave us alone. Unless this is like some kind of convert, a normal chit chat in the DM or something. <sighs> it's too much. There was some lady crying about something on Twitter. It's every day. It's every week. Somebody is crying about it. What's that girl named CJ Piper, Piper Caesar or something? She read a book, wrote a book that I remember seeing him on, on TikTok or something or about it that it was on TikTok. I don't know. I didn't read the book. The cover looked ugly. Um... But her and her minions have been harassing Rachel from Reads with Rachel for a long time. I don't know if they still are. Um, and it's, and then lying about it. It's <laughs> Make it make sense. And that person I think was indie published, which traditionally published, and this has been all over TikTok and YouTube and all these things that I'm like, where is the publisher? Because I don't think this is behavior you want associated with one of your, art, your artists, your authors. Embarrassing. So if you're an author, leave us alone. I was gonna make a PowerPoint and then I'm too tired, but truly there are some spaces that we share. I'm sure a lot of authors watch YouTube videos. Um, there are some authors with author tube videos or maybe you had a YouTube channel or you watched YouTube because you were a reviewer and you're transitioning into an author. We, we cross paths, Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads, Twitter, we cross paths. I'm not saying you shouldn't interact. I'm saying you should not read reviews of your books. I mean, you shouldn't do that. And then there's some people who are going to do that. But if you're going to do that, you do not post it. You do not comment about it. You do not comment on it. You don't contact the reviewer. Like, no. Do you see this line I'm trying to draw? I can't even. Like... I don't <laughs> I wish I could draw a line stay in your lane why is that so hard that hurt my wrist um so HarperCollins <laughs> HarperCollins so I did a video a month a month or so ago about HarperCollins and how they have a union who has been striking um I don't know what day it is I can look it up um on what day it is of the strike I think we're in the 60s or maybe in the late 50s of days on the strike I know about a week ago I said that they were coming to the bargaining table so I don't know if that meeting has happened or when it will happen 
Okay, so they're still in mediation with HarperCollins. They said, meanwhile, a refresher on some of our central demands. Union security is something most New York unions, including those under our parent company, News Corp, already have. Here's what union security means and why HarperCollins should put in our contract. So I can link that. They have like a thread on Twitter. Um, but there's this was yesterday on Wednesday. So they're still in mediation. Fingers crossed. But I hope that it happens soon and that they give these people what they're asking for, which is not a lot of money, especially for companies that be paying millions of dollars to shit stains like Ron DeSantis for a fucking book. Okay, let's see. DeSantis blueprint goes to Broadside. So I think Broadside is probably under, yeah, and Harper Collins imprint. <laughs> so the book is titled The Courage to Be Free, Florida's Blueprint for America's Revival. Like, are you, are you kidding? I don't even, the memoir explores his background growing up in a working class family playing a little, no one cares. No one cares, Ronnie. You're a piece of shit. Um, and it doesn't have a price there. That's very convenient. But so they got money for that though. And I'm sure these things have been in the work, uh, works for a while, but still shady because you still haven't been paying your people. Even before they went on strike, you still have not been paying your people, but you've been paying these people for, who cares? Who are these people? I don't know who these people are, but they're all these people getting book deals, six figure, six figure, seven figure deal, six figure deal. That's crazy. I just, this is, this doesn't make any sense. Oh, and then this old crusty white man. I don't even know what his name is. And I do not care. This crusty white man, because all these goddamn publishers are led by crusty white people. Is saying they're going to be cutting 5% of their North American workforce. So you have buckets and buckets of dollars to give to these people six figure seven figure book deals but you can't increase the starting wage for your workers five grand per year of up five grand for the salary and now you're gonna cut five percent of your workforce The way, and it's just not HarperCollins, it's just not HarperCollins now. HarperCollins union is currently on strike, but I would beg, I would bet money that all of these publishers have people, no, I'm not betting money, it's a fact. All these publishers have people who are overworked and underpaid, and I see it in the books. I used to read at one time, and I'd be reading the book, and I'm like, wow, what a great premise, what a great this. This just needed better editing. This needed more attention. And it's like, hmm, maybe because people are overworked because so many people are can't afford to do this job anymore. Like, I have to leave and go do something that can actually pay my fucking bills. So then you've only got like two people trying to edit all these books. Or like Harper Collins right now, the people on strike, and they've got temps in there. Like, not like I'm, I'm, I'm against giving temps a job. It's just like, why don't you just pay the people that you got? that you already had. <sighs> okay, before my battery dies, because I just wanna, I'm trying to just this and that's it. So y'all know I'm on the struggle bus mentally. Um, and one of the things is that I don't know how I'm supposed to get through every day being like, ooh, let me look at the glass half full, ooh. And like, I am grateful for the things I have. I said that in my video, but I don't understand how I'm just supposed to keep going every day when all of this bullshit is happening. Like, I don't have children and I'm not having children, but that doesn't mean that I wanna see the US education system, the public education system crumble, which it is. So many teachers are leaving and for good fucking reason. I mean, under the best circumstances, I couldn't be a teacher and these circumstances are, are fucking terrible. And then you're working in a country like this where they are taking books out of your classroom and questioning everything if it has, they're, they're a queer character or talks about black history or something like that. I don't know, general information people should know. The health, the healthcare system is in America already terrible, already a scan, and that's gonna that's slowly crumbling with all the nurses leaving the bedside, leaving the field. Oh, and back to Florida, that they have this scandal that was going on from 2016 to 2021. That apparently, over 7,000 people bought fake licenses or bought fake degrees for nursing out of Florida. What? So I do not know how I'm supposed to cope every day knowing the world is going downhill. To hell in a handbasket.
so if, I mean, we're just zooming. That, this is not snow, it's ice. Ice straight into hell. And I say ice into hell because climate change. So, you know, the climate's all fucked up. Anyway, I know I didn't go into super depth. This is all I could do. But all I want to say is fuck you, Harper Collins CEO. Pay your people. Fuck Florida. Fuck Ron DeSantis. Fuck everybody who uh, loves capitalism. Um, fuck Memphis, Tennessee. Not the people. But you know what's going on right now. And authors, leave us alone. That's it. So, uh, yeah. You can check the link if you want to get you some cool gear from Boardwalk. But stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreen. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.